Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So, it's a lot going on around here you guys. I will be doing well to make it through the month of March. Let me show you the month of March. This is just the month of March in my personal on my personal Google Calendar. This does not include any work related types of things. That's all on a different calendar, nor does this include any like to do's and things like that. So it's been a lot going on. I just want to say something because I cannot get this out of my head. I was talking to one of my SPED teacher friends yesterday and by teacher friend, I really just mean someone who I interact with regularly. Sometimes we talk about non work related things and we're not like, friends hanging out by any means, but we are, I guess we have a, a good relationship. Anywho, I was talking to her and we were talking about some students and such. And I was just telling her that a lot of my students are struggling because there is an ADHD med shortage, Adderall, Vyvanse, stuff like that. And so she was saying it's because folks are taking it as a weight loss pill. Of course, a lot of people know that those types of medications do tend to mess with folks' appetites, particularly kids, they may have lose their appetite. It just was blowing my mind that people are doing that. She even said her friend was doing it and lost like 50 pounds in three months and stuff like that and that she was judging her because of which we were talking about it yesterday and it's still something that I'm thinking about today, which is crazy. But that that thing, that is what's on my mind. If I were to make a Facebook post, you know, it says what's on your mind. That's what I would put is we gotta get some medication because some of these kids are without the meds. But anyway, um, what's been happening, you guys? It's been a hectic week. I got my hair done, as you can see. Oh, that's what I wanted to tell y'all. So I'm flossing my teeth as I do regularly. I don't know why, but I start in different areas. It, it should, there's no rhyme or reason. The other day on Wednesday, a couple days ago, I, just thought, I decided to start back here. Do you know I took the floss between my teeth, I brought it back up and something flew out of my mouth. I knew it couldn't be food because first of all, it made a noise when it landed, wherever it landed and it was loud. So I'm like, there's no way that's food. Like how could I have a whole food particle in my mouth that is solid, is a solid substance as such. And something told me it was my feeling because I remember that I got a feeling back there like last year or the year before, I think last year, maybe the year before these years run together. I'm like, I bet you that's it. So I look in my mouth, there's a hole in my tooth. I immediately call the dentist. I go to the dentist and they take a look at it, tell me how to proceed. And then we scheduled for me to come back to get it replaced or fixed. So it's not even fixed yet, but he said, as long as I keep it clean, basically it should be fine. It doesn't cause any pain, but I wanted to go and see, cause I got a lot of stuff coming up in March and I'm not trying to be caught slipping dealing with teeth problems. So that's what's been happening. Also today I am going to my first color party. This is the situation where you wear a color, you pick a color to wear, and then you bring food and beverage items that are the same color. So I've decided to wear all white and I'm bringing a box full of white snacks and drinks and foods, not too snacky. Some things are snacky, but some are, you know, like actual food items. So I'll show you that I have not packaged it because some of the things are in the refrigerator. So I have to wait until I'm about to go, which that is in about an hour or so 10 11 12. yeah i'll leave here in about an hour um we got to go get my dog because we dropped her off for her annual comprehensive exam annual checkup my husband will probably pick her up and then we i have to go and head to the color party and then i also have to make one last stop to pick up something for the color party that i forgot and then i am going to get a laser hair removal treatment i am in the maintenance stage so I probably go like once a year to get the area touched up. Just helps to keep everything at bay, make shaving. I can extend my shaves or sometimes I don't have to shave at all. That's what I need to do today. Why I scheduled all of these things today. Not really sure, but also kind of sure because next week we have family in town. We're having a party the weekend after that. I have an event the weekend after that. We're going out of town for a Little Wayne concert and to visit 
family and friends as well. So we got a lot going on in March, but what's really exciting is that, well, I have a lot of things to show y'all and talk to y'all about, but I recently got the Spring Fab Fit Fun seasonal box and I wanna share it with you guys. Also shout out to Fab Fit Fun for partnering with me on today's video. So the box is actually right behind me. This is my box, let me show you. So these are all of the items that came in my box. Probably can't tell what they are from this angle, so I'm gonna show you what's all in my box. So if you don't know about Fab Fit Fun or if you've never heard of it, it is a nice place where nice people get nice things at nice prices. How it works is you can get a customizable box up to four times per year with full size beauty, fashion, fitness, wellness, and home products that you get to choose. So everything that's in my box, I have already chosen. I've already tried out everything as well, <laughs> but I chose all of these things myself and I tried out all of these things as well. So the first product that I got is this Osea Ocean Cleanser and it is a mineralizing marine cleanser. Wake up your skin and your senses. Seaweed infused gel cleanser removes everything from surface impurities to excess gels. pH balance formula. Apply to damp skin and rinse with warm water, use morning and night, external use only, cruelty free, vegan, gluten free, and you can even recycle this because this is a glass bottle. So I've been using this. I wash my face typically in the shower. I'll wash it outside of the shower too, but I normally like to wash my face in the shower. That's kind of where my skincare routine starts. So as we all know, I've been trying to take care of my skin. I have a full blown skincare routine, which I showed you it in the last monthly vlog or the one before that, but I have been using this Osea and I just keep it in the shower and I've been loving it so far. I've also been using this Aveda Nutri Plenish Leave-In Conditioner. Obviously I have braids and this is for all hair types. It is nutrient powered hydration that detangles and protects. I don't need to detangle my hair obviously, but I did have to detangle it of course before I went and got my hair done, but I've mainly just been putting this on my scalp and putting this on my braids, just trying it out because this is the hair style that I have. And I, when I picked this and I chose this to be put in my box, I didn't really take, you know, I, I wasn't really considering getting my hair done and wearing braids and all of that. So I have not tried it a whole ton on my natural hair, but I have just been spraying it as a little refresher for my braids. But I have been using this and I've also been using my Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Volumizer Mascara. This thing is definitely volumizing. Did use this today. So I have been using this. Oh, let me show you what the wand looks like. It's pretty clean. You know, some of them, when you pull it out of the bottle, it's a lot going on. <laughs> and I don't find that this is the case. So it's a very even and precise application. By the way, there are two ways to sign up for Fab Fit Fun. Seasonally, where you're billed every three months, or annually, where you pay up front for the entire year and you do get a bit of a discount for doing it that way. This season, they are offering two separate promotions. One for 20% off of your first box when you sign up as a seasonal member, and one that gets you a 200 plus surprise gift when you sign up as an annual member. I do have a code for both, so if you wanna sign up as a seasonal member and you want 20% off, you can use code SHAY, S-H-A-Y, or if you wanna sign up as an annual member to get the $200 plus gift, you can use code SHAY GIFT, S-H-A-Y-G-I-F-T. By the way, this is the spring box, which is valued at up to $350. So the whole premise is that you get to get full size body care products, beauty care products, etc., etc., for less than what it would cost you if you were to buy these separate items individually. Next up, I decided I wanted to get this Beyond Yoga bag. So I've been going to the gym a lot and I wanted a bag to reflect that. So there's a compartment here at the bottom that is separated by a zipper. And then there is a pocket over here so I can put a drink inside of it, like my water bottle, another pocket. It's obviously a backpack with adjustable straps. And then on the inside, there is a flat pocket that's has a zipper and you can access their member only flash sales where you can shop top brands for up to 70% off. And those brands might include Free People, Fenty Beauty, Coach, etc. I also chose this bracelet by Adina Eden. It came in this little bag here, but I'm actually at this point wearing the bracelet and this is a bracelet. It really spoke to me because this little piece here looked like a paper clip. Let me show you. That just looked like a paper clip to me and it kind of 
I think it is a paper clip, but obviously it spoke to me as a planner girly. So this is my little bracelet that I have been wearing. And then lastly, I got some Love Wellness pH balancing cleanser, daily vulva wash, non-irritating, fragrance free, probably like a fourth of the way gone. So that'll be gone pretty soon. The five ounces is going quite fast apparently. But anyway, those are all of the things that I got in my Fab Fit Fun seasonal box. It kind of has some of the brands that I mentioned on the box here. Thank you to Fab Fit Fun for sponsoring that portion of today's video. Now let's continue on with this vlog. It is 11.06 now. So I think we need to go pick up the dog. I told the doctor we would be there around 11:30, and we're home for now well my husband will be home all day so there's no significance in leaving her there okay back from the vet dog is good but she does need to lose a few pounds so there's that but anyway i bought this bucket from walmart and it was only like five dollars it has a lid which i don't think i'm using the lid today but since it came with one I went ahead and got it so that I could reuse this container that I'm taking to the party. So I'm going to try to pack everything in here. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing. In theory, I'm gonna bring my vlog camera. I do have my simple modern cup here. I should probably fill this with water so I can have water. I feel like I always need water. So I'm gonna fill this, change the battery, and then we are heading out. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. On its edges, my pop work is life when it's calm. Blocks up, I'm loving its center. If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better. I love the weather, even though it's fog 24 7. I love the people. This is a city I met all my best friends, and I want to thank every break. I want to thank every entrance to every building that I step yeah, in. This city of mine, oh, you most my best moments in life. See, I fell in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to goof off And spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want Keep drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt And me and Jack would get stony, walk around and get lost Don't think I'll ever truly pay back all I was lucky to get Just by walking through the city, no, I'm a small part of this So I'm here getting my laser hair removal about to is 417. My appointment is at 420. And I just want to say if got it all wrong were a person, it would be me because I had it in my head that for color parties, folks, you know, dress in the color that they want and then they bring coordinating food and drink items to match them. And so I thought that the premise of this was to bring shareable drinks and snacks. So I bought a bunch of stuff thinking that these items would be shareable and honestly i bought things that i really liked because i was under the impression that 
if people didn't eat the shareable items I could or drink them I could take them back home with me so I brought white powder donuts which I love I bought um, bought slash brought Pinot Grigio which I love uh, so hard seltzer you name it things that I sugar cookies cheese ch chicken salad dip stuff like that things that I thoroughly would enjoy bringing back home to me that wasn't the case <laughs> what really happened was everybody sat down their baskets and then eventually later on we would do an exchange and so we actually ended up exchanging gift baskets my mind is blown by this concept because I really would have done better at it happy daylight savings time do I need to it's like the lighting pause I took down the brightness some it was at its normal amount but there's too much brightness going back there going on back there anyway let's catch up so my scent bird came y'all I have skipped scent bird for like a good I mean I probably haven't done scent bird since maybe like November but I'm down to the wire so I needed a new one so we had have I had this one before Confessions of a Rebel. It's called B-I-T-C-H, please. I would say it, but I normally try to keep things PG over here. And this is the little tube that it always comes in. I say it's a vial of perfume. I don't know what you call it, but I'm pretty sure I had this before, which is trash. No, there's no way. No, I haven't had this. Ooh, oh, my God. Perfumes smell differently on different people. I love that. I haven't had this before. I think it looks familiar to me. Oh, by the way, it has notes of black currant, jasmine, sandalwood, and skin musk. I think I've been waiting to get this one, but I haven't gotten it. Yeah, because I was looking in here. Everything's empty. <laughs> Legit. I have three of these. I've been keeping them, but I think I'm going to throw them out. I don't know what use I would have for them outside of if I were to travel, like when I traveled this month, speaking of, I gotta tell y'all about something. When I travel, I'll probably just take it in this. So I don't see a need for multiple. Maybe I'll keep one extra just in case. Yeah, I feel like that's appropriate. But otherwise, I'm gonna throw the rest of them away. And speaking of traveling, y'all, I'm going to an event, a Lil Wayne concert. So at the, at, I'm going to an event, which is a Lil Wayne concert and at the color party, we were making friendship bracelets. I truly could not think of what to put on mine, so I just put Little Wayne on mine. So this is my friendship bracelet right here, and it has Little Wayne on it. And I did it red, white, and black because almost everything that I've ever purchased that is Little Wayne related, like hats and all the other corny stuff that I've purchased, it is all red, white, and black. So I did that on purpose. But in the meantime, speaking of Little Wayne concert, I purchased this base sling sports sling it's a sports sling and I added this actually just you know me I gotta add a little razzle dazzle so I added this but let me show y'all first of all let me get y'all zoomed out and situated let me like try to scoot you back okay now you left what happened my video just my video is here but y'all left on my screen okay pause I don't know what that was about but anyway let me show y'all what this is so let me put my phone in here first so this is a sports sling now slings and fanny packs and all of that have come back with a vengeance and everybody is getting into it to include men and I've been wanting a sling so I purchased one because I want to take it to the Little Wayne concert and I'm organized enough to have actually gone to the website to look at the the centers the event centers policies particularly their back policy to make sure that I can bring this because some say you can bring a small purse or a clutch some say it have to, it has to be a clear bag so a strictly clear bag policy it differs but I'll be able to take this one and honestly of all the concert venues I've gone to I don't know that I've ever not been able to take a small bag but I never take a bag I just take my phone and an ID maybe and maybe a debit card or credit card and that's it but I'm taking this to the concert so I've been trying it out first of all it unbuckles so that's cool to easily be able to take it off so that's what I do and then there is 
a little clip here. So if you want to wear it the way that I was wearing it, where I guess it crosses my body from right to left. Is that how that was? Yeah, I think. And then you put your, you clip it here. And if you want it to be the opposite, you clip it over here. My assumption is that that might come in handy for those who are maybe left-handed and maybe, and then, I don't know, I don't know. I have no idea, but this is a hard, this isn't plastic. Like these little pieces, this is like a metal and you just hook it together and you can adjust the strap. So there's that. So first of all, we have, oh, it's already getting dirty, tragic. We have a pocket here, right here. And then of course, one of the cool things about this, <laughs> if you did not know, is that there is a hidden compartment. A hidden compartment, and then you can put a drink inside of there, particularly a drink if with a lid. So I could put my seltzer in here, but basically I could put that in there, but you wouldn't want to do that. I think you use this when you're working out, whatever. I think it's perfect for a concert or the airplane because you can put an empty bottle in here, if you're flying rather, because you can put an empty bottle in here and then fill it up with something if you need something, you know, cause you can't take fluids or liquids. You can't take that into, what do you call it? I haven't flown in a while. Also, I hate flying. You can't take it on the plane. So you can't take it through security. None of that, it has to go. Anyway, moving on. This is by the base brand, which I know and love. And this little patch says base actually. So I have my phone in here and then there is a pocket and then it's kind of like a double pocket. So it's like a little mesh pocket in here there you can see it a little mesh pocket my phone doesn't fit in here it's too big because i have a pro max probably if you had a smaller phone it would fit in there perfectly otherwise i just put my phone in this pocket and then we have another pocket which is where i put the little fuzzy ball or i attached it to that so i have my cards in here and there is room for three cards so i have my three cards in here my ID, my debit card, my credit card. I have some lottery tickets because someone brought those to Galentine's and I was like, I'm not gonna win. Like, this is dumb. I'm not playing the lottery or doing a scratch off because I think it's dumb and I won. So I, I need to cash out those. I have hand sanitizer. I have chapstick. And then normally I have lotion on my person at all times. But the issue is I've been using this a little, it's like a larger lotion container and I'm gonna to have to transfer it to a smaller one or just buy a smaller little lotion because when I put it in here, it's huge. I'm talking, let me see if I have something that's comparable. It's probably two or three of these. And so when I put it in here, it's just, it's, it's, not, it's not doing what I need for it to do. So we'll get a little lotion. And then there's another compartment that has two zippers and I keep zipping them, uh, doing them both at the same time. So my iPad mini is in here with a case, so it fits in there perfectly. And then we have, yeah, this is, oh, okay. Then we have this little hook where you can put your keys on it. We have this pocket, which is mesh. And then we have this, which is very soft. So you might consider putting your phone in here. This whole, this pocket, the outside of it is like a soft material, like a suede. And then this is too, so you can put a Kindle in there or something where you might wanna protect the screen. My iPad mini does fit in there technically, but it makes it harder to zip it. So I wouldn't go that route. I have a screen protector on, so I've just been putting it in the back pocket. I don't know if I can bring the iPad in there. I do take my iPad everywhere, but we are probably gonna hit the streets and paint the town after so I'm probably not going to take it which with the iPad it does make it a little heavy so I'll probably just have lotion take out the iPad add lotion any other little essentials that I may need and my phone plus I may be having a little situation around that time hopefully it'll wait until the next day so if I do then I'll take this and that's also one of the reasons why I wanted to have something I could take into concerts that does fit the sizing and all that because if I do have a little situation, I I'm anticipating having one this time and so I was thinking moving forward, I could keep different things in here, my supplies in here if I were to need them. But that's pretty much what I'm up to today. Oh, today, oh, came home from laser hair. That made it like five o'clock. We got some takeout, some wings. We watched, oh, we watched that documentary about the program on Netflix. So we watched that straight, then I went to sleep. Woke up today, ordered groceries really early this morning, went back to sleep, <laughs> woke back up. We, I made breakfast 
and then what did I do after that I think we watched the movie and then I edited that video and then I oh I had a meeting because I'm helping plan a digital planner conference which is crazy so be on the lookout for that can't share any details because I'm just helping out and I will not be sharing details but that's a thing and then hmm I edited this video and then I think that's pretty much what I've spent my day doing yeah so time flies it's already 5 30 8 p.m i'm gonna take about 20 minutes to plan my week we're gonna do it together and then i it's the daylight saving savings time which means i'll get about another hour and a half of daylight so i think we're gonna hang out outside and just chill and take in the sun so let's go plan out our week and then we can take it from there let's get planning so we're going into good notes which i've recently updated and I haven't planned all weekend, which isn't that big of a deal to me because I skip all the time. Okay, so on Tuesday, I'm going to a training with my coworkers. That's a new thing that we need to add. So training, it is at, we got a group discount for going and we'll get six CEUs. So we're going, I'll, I'm going with my few of my social worker people. And then I signed up for not I signed up for but and then I also I think I'm gonna go to this month's Thirsty Thursday with some of my co-workers <laughs> let's see if there are any photos that we can add I wonder well I can add this this is Let's folks know I was at a, not folks, because this thing is for me, but this lets me and anybody else know that I was actually there, even though I don't think I took a picture of my own basket, which is tragic, but that's the one that I ended up winning. And then what are these photos? Um, none of those are worth putting in here, but we, we can write on this a little bit. So we can put color party just to add a little razzle dazzle and make it more personal. <laughs> do this let's go to Monday in my in my um work calendar and let's see what's happening okay so tomorrow I have a meeting at 12 o'clock exactly so what I'm oh that's funny I had one at 12 o'clock last week so we're gonna leave that there and then on Tuesday I have a 9 30 meeting so I'm gonna bring that there and I'll put it in what is between 9 and 10 which is kind of like the 9 30 spot and then I have another meeting at 1 30 so we'll do the same thing here like such and then we are going to put training so that's good so I'm still going to go to those meetings even though I'm going to be in training I'm just going to step out and take the meetings take the, the calls hop on the meetings which sounds a little weird and a little interesting but that is because the meetings won't require that much out of me if that makes any sense they I really just have to get on there and talk for like two seconds 
and then one of them I don't even have to talk but it's not gonna take long so we're gonna delete that and then we're gonna replicate this so I'm gonna move this over so I just have three meetings today I'm uh, three waiting three meetings in the upcoming week two of which I will not be participating in in person because I will be in a training I don't want that to take that let's go up here and drag it down it was getting connected to the work all right so that's Monday and then ooh, let's see about what the week is gonna bring for content <music> Now the last thing to do, I'm not really worried about the rest of that for real for real because yeah, we'll just be with family Thursday night, on Friday, on Saturday, and on Sunday. So I do need to figure out this. We do need to order groceries for this week. We ordered some, but we'll have to order some more things for this weekend when family get here. We're gonna delete that. I already did that. We did that. <laughs> if I can find like one more little cute photo to put or that maybe that's kind of thrown off the feng shui a little bit but let's see what that looks like oh it's not bad all right that's gonna be our week it's gonna be super simple because we got a lot of things to do all right I'm glad we were able to plan out the week together love that for me love that for us um I think I'm gonna go play pool with my husband now so I'll check in with you in a few. I'm heading to work, it's Monday morning. Okay, it is 9.40.
one of my students wasn't here. I was going to see him during gym at 930. And then my other student, I did get to see him. He was here. So we did a 30 minute session. So I got him from class and then I walked him back to class because he actually does have an aid or a person who helps get him throughout the day. Normally I go to one or two other schools on Mondays, but I am going to, I just switched up my whole week basically. I moved one school to Wednesday. So I'm gonna go there on Wednesday instead. So I emailed them to let them know of that change. And then I'm also going to go to this other school. <laughs> it's a lot going on, but basically I'm finished seeing students here. So I have, yeah, I'm finished seeing students here. I have one who I have been, he was dismissed from services at the beginning of the school year, but he's having a hard time. So I was thinking of checking on him while I'm here, but like as far as the kids who I have to serve, I've already done that. So I will probably check on him later. So what I think I'm gonna do is go to this other school that's across the street and do a trial session with a student I have observed, I've observed him, I've collected data, I've done all the different things. The only thing left really is to try, try out a session to see if they are interested in it. And if so, then we can move forward with adding the services to their plan. I can still recommend that them for services even if they aren't receptive to the trial session, but I do like to just throw in a little trial session. Not, it's not so much a trial session as it is an information session so that the students can hear directly coming from me, coming from the source, the person who would be serving them and meeting with them, what it is that they can expect. Because I've had kids refuse because no one told them that they were receiving counseling and boom, they just ended up in counseling um, because their parents want them to be in counseling or we felt that they needed to be receiving counseling services. And so they, like one kid, has refused almost all of his sessions because he said he wanted to be spoken to about this first <laughs> and he was not. So anyway, one thing that I try to do, if at all possible, if it calls for it, is to just try to meet with the students beforehand to let them know about what the service is and then ask them their opinions about if they would like to participate or not. Again, if they say yes, then cool, we can schedule a meeting at the services. If they say no, then I can still recommend services we can still meet and add the services like we would have like we would even if they said yes but the issue becomes if a student does not want to receive any kind of service they can refuse the service with the no consequence there's no consequences if kids don't go to counseling or if they don't go to speech or ot or physical therapy or whatever there are no real consequences on from the academic side of things sure the parents may Give them a consequence or they may get in trouble with their parents but there's no, no there's no consequence at school so anyway i just like to do a little trial info session so i think i'm going to pop over and do that and then come back here because i have a 12 o'clock meeting here regarding the student that i just met with and i pretty much attend all of my meetings in person i don't have to necessarily but it makes the most sense for me so i think i'm going to go to this other school, do the trial session, come back and then eat lunch and then we'll have the meeting and then I'm gonna leave from the meeting to go to this other school that I normally go to on Tuesdays, but I'm gonna go to it today because tomorrow, remember, I have a training and I said that I'm going to have to not see students at all from one particular school, but there's a second school that I go to on Tuesdays, but I only have one kid there and I normally go after I see all the kids at the first school so I normally head over like one o'clock or something I'm just gonna try to see that kid today since I can't see him tomorrow so that means that I'm just I might just miss out on one school this week although I may make it to that school on Friday or something but I have a pretty hectic week but that's what's happening it's 9 45 now so I think I'm going to type some notes and get caught up on those because I have a few from Friday and then a couple from today by the way this is the room that I'm using it's actually um, a mobile so I call it like an outhouse or a shed <laughs> I'm about to fill in my planner for today and then I'm gonna type up type in the notes so I've been keeping with me this brass pen from Hemlock and Oak and then I change out my markers whenever I see fit but today this week I'm using this oatmeal zig clean color 
dot marker. And I have this Martha Stewart pen holder. I guess that's what you call it on the front. This came from, the planner is Hemlock and Oak, so it came from Hemlock and Oak online. It's Canadian based. The pen came from there as well as Hemlock and Oak. This is from the Martha Stewart brand at Staples. I've had this for probably like five years, but you can still access it. And then I got these from Amazon. Um, you can get these in certain little stores, but I got a pack of them and it's normally cheaper to buy a pack than to get them individually, which is how they're normally sold. If we come here to this gold ribbon, well, it's kind of like a light brown one. This will take us to our monthly, which we do need to update. By the way, I think I'm gonna observe a, a kid too when I go to my next school to see that student. I think I'm gonna go ahead and observe another kid while I'm there because I got a referral for that kid. So I'm just checking in with my um, monthly to-dos to see if there's anything that I need to do, yep, yeah, or that I've already done. This week is the 11th through the 17th. I have an IEP meeting today. So this was Friday. So on here I had a weekly task list. So I wrote down some of my weekly tasks and then this was my day on Friday. So I normally put school day at the top and then I've been taking with me from week to week this little sticky note, but I think I'm gonna leave it in this week. <laughs> today same day I just took off my coat and bag and you know everything but it's the same day and I also did my hair a little differently anyway that light is going to bother me probably okay it looks like I can't get around it I am putting on lotion I've been loving this cocoa Palmer's cocoa butter formula with vitamin E heals softens and cream leaves rough dry skin i've been using it so normally i carry it with me on my person in my purse or whatever but it's actually massive <laughs> compared to the bag that i've been carrying the sling so i took it out of there just for today while i'm at work kind of thing but you know when i go to the gym and i take my bag i will put the lotion in there because anytime i wash my hands which is often i've always washed my hands a lot but especially with sickness and covid and all that i have to re-moisturize and this one is only four dollars and some change and i think it does a good job at moisturizing but the tragic thing is i do would prefer like a smaller lotion <laughs> so i may get some bath and body works lotion i really just need the tube i don't need the actual lotion because it doesn't do as good of a job it smells better but it doesn't moisturize as well i really just need a small tube to put that lotion in that's like one thing I need to try to work out. Anyway, I am back and I'm about to eat lunch, so I thought I would share what I'm eating for lunch. Let's see where I'm at with my. It feels like it's. It feels like I've drank a lot, but I haven't. So it's hard to tell because the bottle in and of itself is expensive. By the way, this is an S for Shea. Then I have the smiley face lid straw cover and then i also normally have a boot but i don't have it now plus it's okay without the boot boot because when i put the boot on it covers up the sm because it's an off-brand boot simple modern does make boots and then you can use those and they actually have the brand like the sm on the boot but whatever <laughs> those boots are like 15 dollars. i feel like and this little cheap boot that i bought was only a couple dollars anyway for lunch i'm having spaghetti that my husband cooked for dinner in my salad nope in my soup bowl so you just open this and then you can warm up your soup without it making a mess so anytime I have anything that is kind of soupy in nature that is what I use also coke zero because coke zero is life a honey crisp apple because honey crisp apples are life then I have some Greek strawberry cheesecake which is my favorite Yogurt as high protein, fat free, full flavor, yada, yada, yada. I have Parmesan cheese to add to my spaghetti in a plastic bag. And then I have a Built Bar because Built Bar is life. I love Built Bar. This one is the cookie dough one and it's the chunk 
line. It's currently 11.25, so I'll have about 30 minutes, which I feel like is appropriate. And then I will head to this meeting, pack up. Y'all pack up around 11.55 or so, and then head to this meeting. So that's what's happening today. I will check in with you guys later. Hello, it is Monday, March the 11th, and I just got back from the gym. It is after six o'clock. It's after six o'clock, but you know, it's daylight savings time, so it doesn't feel like it's that late. So I love that. I just lit a candle, which is Island Margarita, and I hope it smells good. I think I've had this before, but we're about to see. This is the candle, and it's pretty on theme. I think I'll buy this every year for Candle Day because it's on theme for St. Patrick's Day. So I love that. But anyway, I was thinking I was going to do this vlog. I was going to like vlog until Wednesday or something. But then I was thinking, well, tomorrow I'm going to an all day training with my coworkers. We have to be there at like eight something and then it starts at nine. And then we're going to lunch together, the three of us, and then going back to the training. And then after that, I'm going right to the gym. And then by the time that I get home, it'll be a little bit later than what it is right now and it'll probably be dark and i'll probably be showering and getting in bed so i was thinking i don't know if i didn't really need to drag this on certainly something cool might happen between now and then but it's not very likely that anything amazing is going to happen but i have um we're trying to get somebody to cut our grass because well we got a lot to do to prepare for for our guests and for the party and stuff so we're trying to outsource that we haven't had any We've only had somebody cut our grass maybe we had two people cut our grass once each and we've only outsourced it twice in four over four years but yeah this week is a little much so we're gonna see if somebody can cut it particularly because it's a decent sized yard and it's a hill and it's just a lot so we're gonna try to do that so the girl who did my hair she gave me her uncle's number he cuts grass i'm gonna see if he can cut it furthermore on friday we have guests coming in on thursday and I'm assuming they'll be here at nighttime, so they might have already eaten. But we are going to plan to feed them breakfast here at home on Friday. And then, or like a brunch kind of thing, depending on when we all wake up. And then Friday, we're going to do a family dinner with everybody that's in town by Friday. And we were thinking about doing an Italian dinner, but we settled on a taco bar situation. So we're going to do that. Mainly because on Saturday we're having a big party and so we don't really need any leftover food necessarily. You know, we don't need some big huge meal, if that makes any sense. We just need basically enough for, for us to eat on Friday and for the cheap because, again, the same folks are coming back Saturday and bringing things and stuff. So we are going to, me and my cousin, her name's Shay too, she has some family staying at her house and then we have family staying here. So we're basically just going to split the cost to feed everybody. So we're going to do... A taco bar so we've decided on that that's good and then I was thinking about doing like um, hanging out here at the house with some friends uh, just inviting some of our friends that we have here over to just hang out some of them already have met the family members that we have coming in like because we've interacted on multiple occasions before and some of them have been in the family for longer than me so they know the family members you know so that's the whole point of that, just kind of inviting over some folks that they already know. Maybe not obviously know really, really well, but enough to to come hang out with us and stuff. So we're thinking of maybe doing that, and then I think we're going to go out on Friday. My husband and I have not been out all year, so I feel like that is a miracle. And we're halfway through March, so I'm proud of us. I don't think I've been out. Well, I lied. Technically, I went out in January for my friend's birthday, and then I also went out again for my other friend's birthday in February. So I've been out technically twice, but my husband and I have not been out together. So that's what's happening Friday. And then Saturday is the party, which is going to be an all day thing. Either we're prepping for it or the party's happening. And then Sunday, everybody will go home. So that's pretty much what we have going on. Relatively hectic week. Basically, we have to clean, do a bunch more cleaning and decorating and removing our rugs because we take our rugs out of here when we're having a party because I don't care if people come in with their shoes and get our hardwood floors dirty because I can scrub them clean but just dirtying up my rugs and stuff doesn't sit right with my spirit so we're going to get those out of here all of our rugs and then at that point 
I don't really care about the floor because it's going to get dirty and then we will we will sweep it and then we will mop it and scrub it and it'll be fine so that's that so kind of doing house prep still need to do some guest room prep let's see if I've hit my steps it is oh y'all I updated our budget today which was amazing because I haven't updated it yep I hit my steps you can't see but I have 10,000 it keeps why why is it going away when I lift it up there it is 10,000 steps so yeah that's what's happening my husband is at his mom's house doing something for her and then he'll be back and then I guess we will I don't know but I think I'm gonna clean do like a little bit of cleaning since I'm still sweaty from the gym and then maybe shower and get started on cooking or cooking and eat and then shower you know I don't know I don't really like cooking in the fumes of it I don't know it's just weird <laughs> it's just weird I don't like I don't want to eat when I'm dirty and fresh from the gym but then I also don't want to like cook when I'm freshly clean I don't know it's a weird thing but I was thinking I may take this girl for a w-a-l-k I'm gonna see because my husband was already home for a couple hours before he left so he may have done some things upstairs I don't know but I'm gonna take a look-see and see if he has done anything and then if he has then I'll probably take her but if not I'll probably do it sure she needs to go on a walk maybe I'll take her anyway just for like a quick little one since we still have some daylight but then I also have to edit a video <sighs> I have a lot to do this week my head is spinning but it's not going to get done with me sitting here talking about it. So I'm going to go do the things that I need to do. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you're new and if you're liking what you're seeing. And I will catch you guys right back here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye, guys.